In this video, I want to talk about how you can control your library that you're working with in Kinetic Text Animator. Now, we are going to be, I'm going to just say this right now, we're, we're going to plan to basically allow you to point to your own uh, directories. But in this recording, um, this is version 1.03 of Kinetic Text Animator, we're still importing them. Uh, any, Im any images, any kind of uh, stock media, uh, audio, anything like that. And you can import it here, but there is actually another way to do it that's a little bit more advanced. And I want to show that to you to give you full control. So what you're looking for is advanced uh, manage app data. So go ahead and open that. Now, do read this. Do be careful about this because uh, this is very important. If you're, you're going to mess things up, if you do not, or if you're not careful, you need to not rename that main folder. Let's take a look at what it's talking about here. That's this right here. The application is looking for this folder. If you rename this or move it, it's going to get all messed up. So don't do that. So this is, uh, you want to double click on that and then it's going to show you that all the different things that you can have uh, built in. Now we have built in fonts and so forth, but right now I'm just going to focus on the background images. Now I've imported some. Some of these are from bonuses and some of them are from uh, bonuses as in, you know, uh, things that I've offered. If you purchase a product, then you get these um, keyworded audio or, or images. Uh, otherwise, they're, um, they're bonuses that you can get free if you go to the member area and click on the bonus button uh, and I'll be adding more. So I've just, uh, I haven't imported everything. There's just a few, a lot of you, if you looked recently, I added, for example, some new textures and I haven't put that in here. Uh, in fact, I'll show you how I'll get those in here. But um, notice here that I've changed these. I've got these, they're all pretty small file sizes here. And I wanna show that to you first. This is one of many things that you might wanna do. Um, some of these can take a while to load. And a lot of these are in HD, high, high definition, and you don't need them to be. Uh, if you're doing, you know, for instance, Facebook, you know, memes or something like that, and that's all you're going to do, or just online stuff, if you're not going to do something that's going to show up on a TV, then you may not need, need HD ever. And so um, one thing that you can do is you can come in here and you can edit these. Now, um, so you can reduce the file size, that is. So what I do here, I'm going to just go ahead, and it's a little bit convoluted, but let's go ahead and do this. I've, I've just created an untitled folder on my hard drive. And I'm just going to drop these in here for now. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy them. Actually, let's go ahead and move them. We'll move them temporarily. But we need to make sure and keep that one available. And I'm going to come over here to my browser. I've got this site. You go to bulkresize.com. Or sorry, bulkresizephotos.com. And when you first go there, let's just look at that. It's going to look like this. And you want to choose images. And I've already got it. I, I already did it to that folder. I did it previously, the ones that I just showed you. So I'm gonna just select the ones that I haven't done already. Hit okay. And I'm gonna set it, I set it to 40%. Um, and you can, there's other options here. You can play with that if you want. I'm not gonna go over them. I just set it, I personally set it to 40% of the original size because HD is really, really big. And I'm just going to resize those four. So it's going to be real quick. But notice that it went from 11 megabytes to only 1.7. So what that means is it takes up a lot less space on your hard drive. And also it'll load faster. Now note that when you do that, it comes with this HTML file. I don't want that. So I just dragged it back into the main folder here. So now, right now, it's really not going to take effect. I really need to hit the uh, Command or Control R to reset for the changes to take effect. Uh, but it's gonna go ahead and load my system fonts and everything, do all the good stuff that it normally does. And then if I come in here and I do a background search, now it's really not gonna show any different here because you know, all I did was I reduced the file size. But you may notice if you are in a, a older computer or something like that, that they just load faster if you do this. So that's something that you can do. And it, you can do that too if you are working with your own files. Let's say you've uh, got your own art and you can come in here and you can name your own. So let's say that I'm gonna do the Penta as I mentioned and let's pretend that these are actually files that I did. So let's find that uh, bonus. My desktop is a mess, I apologize. Uh, let's, there we go, the Penta texture is here. So they're all uh, and there, so these are all those, those textures. So I'm gonna just go ahead and 
do something like I got deco textures here. Maybe not that. Let's do let's just do new. Or let's do just textures. I'm gonna name it text. I'm making a new folder. Textures. Let's do. Um, Let's do new, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can, I can rename it later. And I can do that and I can, I, now I've double clicked to go into there and I hear, here's all the, the textures that were in the Penta. And rather than have them, I'm just gonna go ahead and merge them all together. <clears throat> and I should have, I should have kept them, here, let's undo that. And I should have copied them, but I'm gonna go ahead and copy them. I don't wanna mess up my local computer. Oops, didn't get them all. I'm holding down the option key, I think, on my Mac, whatever it is on the PC. Um, but I'm just copying them in there. <clears throat> and just trying to get them all in. And so this is, again, this is, you know, I'm sort of emulating as if you were doing something on your own. You've keyworded your own stock. Maybe you bought them from a stock photography site and you keyworded them yourself. So you can do something like this. I've, I've created a a new folder, textures new. Um, I actually did the optimization thing already to these. They're all pretty small, so that uh, so it, that that doesn't need to be done. And then um, go back into. I can go ahead and close this now and go back into Kinetic Text Animator again. I'm going to refresh again, and uh, as soon as it's finishing here, loading my fonts, then I can check to see if they're in there. And let's come over here. And background, select and come down here and there's textures new. And here's all my new textures that I can drag onto the stage and start creating cool animations with. So that's how you can control your stuff. Just make sure when you're managing this app data that you do not mess with that main folder. Just come in, look for the subfolders. You can do the same with video. There's different, I haven't imported video in this particular uh, version. Install of Kinetic Text Animator. Uh, but you can do the same there. You, you know, I don't think you want to mess with PNGs. I think that's separate. I could be wrong. Audio is definitely the music um, and so forth. So you can uh, mess with that. Just do the same basic ideas. Folders here. Um, notice that the the different the format here is uh, lowercase with dashes where the spaces are. And that should get you going. And so thanks a lot for checking this out.